Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this. Next episode from me, Avamance the Chicken Man, it would seem. It's like invasion of the poultry on the Avamancia Peninsula at the minute. I'm surrounded by these feathery demons that keep literally invading my entire place. Look at the state of it. I've got loads of eggs all over the place, and it's partly, well, it's mainly actually, because of this bit here. Out of the way, chicken. This bit here, where I've taken off all of that item sorter, I've flattened it in the background and if you remember a couple of episodes ago in the item sort of delivery system where the items come up from the mine that was down there there was about a bazillion chickens just sat in there which i'm assuming is as a result of eggs being put in there and then bursting and not actually uh, being delivered and as a result of not being delivered they turned into chickens so i think that's what probably happened and but as a result look it literally is it's invasion of the poultry there are eggs everywhere I mean, literally everywhere. I've got chickens everywhere. And I felt really bad about bashing them. Because if I went and bashed them, it just seems a little bit unfair, really. So I'm going to let them live at least for at least a few more minutes. And what might eventually happen is I'm going to go and give them a really good bashing at some point. Because I don't think I can take any more clucking. There's only so much sanity a man can hold in his head when he's surrounded by clucking the whole time. And you can make of that statement whatever you will. I'm looking out. Look out there. I love this update aquatic. Oh, chicken, just push me out of the way. Do you see that? What do you think he is? I'm in 1.13.1. It is the latest update of update aquatic. It's 1.13.1. I've got no idea what difference, if any, it is going to make to this game. I don't think... Look, it's another blooming egg just popped out of that chicken's bum. They just land them everywhere. And yeah, I'm sort of getting fed up with eggs. I've got way too many. That's a 1.13.1. They are... I mean, they're... they're what are the differences? Tell me in the comments. What are the differences in 1.13.1? Are there just stability differences? Or is there something more exciting? Do let me know. What we're going to do today is... Well, we're going to go in a bit more of an explore. Because I'm kind of keen. I'm taking a load of eggs up now. I'm kind of keen to get myself going. And understand a little bit more about what we can do in 1.13. And what that means is... I'm walking backwards. If I fall over, I do apologise. What that means is... I want to be able to go down into the water and find some monuments. When I went and found that treasure map um, to the... Uh, I, I can't concentrate. I, I've Literally, I've walked to as many chickens as I can possibly muster. I, I, it's no good. I can't do it anymore. I've got to do them. I've got to do them. I'm going to turn around. I've got to have a go. Are we ready, chickens? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you get. That's what you get. And look how much XP that just did me. That was quite good, actually. I quite enjoyed that. I feel a little bit mean, but whatever. Come on, get look, the chickens are getting it. Get out of my way. There we go. Perfect. And now I can get out. There we go. That's much better. Right, chicken. If you want to get in there, get in that hole. Go on, go with your mates. Get in that hole. God, I've got so much chicken here now. Look. Go, get in the hole. Don't look. Your mate pushed me, so I'm pushing you by default. You're going to get in that hole if it's the last thing I do. And it could actually be the last thing I do. Get in the hole, chick chick. There we go. I feel much better about myself now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself prepped for a bit of an explore. Right, so I have managed to cook myself some of those chickens, which will act as food. And yeah, you watch out, you people. Otherwise, I'll have you as well. Not half, because that was worth it for the XP. So we've now got ourselves, look, one, two, three potions of night vision. Very little else, frankly. And we're going to spend a big old chunk of today in the water. We're going to go underwater and we're going to see what we can't find down there. Because I think I just fancy having a bit of a wet, a bit of a wet go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come under the water and we're going to go for a right old, right old swim. So potion of night vision in. That just opens it all up. Oh, there's a shipwreck over there already. We are laughing. And what I am going to get my sword out because I know for absolute fact that I saw a drowned over here somewhere. And I am getting properly ready to do some damage to some underwater undead. I really think... Is that... We've got some puffer fish. Look, I'm not going near them because they'll poison me. So, I, have I lost that? Where's the... There it is. Come on then. Get, get yourselves over here. Let's have a look. Look, my bubbles are going down, but l quite slowly, which is quite nice. Because I've got... All the aqua affinity and all that kind of malarkey as well. So let's come down. I don't know, I probably could have come in here and got my breath out of a door or something. But So let's come down and see what we've got. We're looking around 
and we're going to come inside the door and we're going to find a buried treasure map along with a load of paper which is always nice to have let's have that and some feathers take a breath what's in here uh leather tunic for blast protection okay have some coal that's all quite good um some wheat never have too much wheat right i'll have that and i'll take some carrots too i'm going to leave no i'll, I'll take that now i'm told that there should be a third one somewhere so i'm just gonna have a bit of a look around see whether or not i can see it very obviously but i can't at the moment oh is that could it be in here i wonder yes it could so what i need to do is I need to get my axe get rid of that and come in there ha oh, see now we're talking look at that let's get these right inside us we want some of this we're having some of that lovely job right so now we've got to come down i'm gonna to have to take a breath again because i can't i can't walk there we go down and there we go take your breath and then let's come up and see what else we can find i want my sword again have we got any underwater temple -y type stuffs? That's what I really fancy. Because I missed one last time. And I got about 100,000 comments saying, You missed the underwater temple, Avo. What are you doing? Are you mad you missed the underwater temple? Go back for the underwater temple. So, I'm going to have a go at this drowned. Because obviously that's what you do when you're looking for an underwater temple. Yeah. Yeah. You're taking it, you soggy undead. Drop something worth having. Drop something worth having. Drop something worth having. He didn't drop anything worth having. Right, so what else can we find? Let's go. Look, there's another drowned over there. Should we? Is that a baby drowned or is that a normal drowned? I think we're going to go and have a go at that fella. Under we go. Yeah, come on, mate. You can see me. Have you got a trident in your pocket? I'd love a trident. If you've got one, that'd be lovely. Please. What are you dropped for me? Rotten flesh. Seriously? Is that what you've got? How can there not be? Is that a... Do we there go down into one of them? That's what I want to know. Have I got the bottle to go into an underwater cave? Apparently I have. Oh yes I do. What's in the underwater cave? Take a breath. Oh, very exciting underwater cave. Right, so let's just get this out of the way so as we can go through there. This was quite cool. A little bit of breath, and we are in some normal caves. Trouble is, I'm now probably lost because I'm, I'm not going to be able to get out. So have we got anything down there? No. So this is actually less exciting than I thought it would be. So let's go back up. If I can. There we go. Oh, we're doing it that way, are we? We're doing it like that. We're doing it like that. Oh, are we now? Right, well, you can't follow me because you can't swim. Oh, you probably can swim, can't you? So let's come this way. Let's come this way. And I found my way out. It's all right, people. I'm not going to be drowned in a cave. That was a bit close. I, I got properly full on then, didn't I? That's a nice fish. So now where are we going? Should we have a look at this treasure map? Should we have a look at it? Right, so what we've got, buried treasure map. We are properly miles away at the moment, I think. So let's try going this way. I actually don't know where I'm going. So let's keep going this way and see if we can actually get this fella to move at all. Because we are right down in... I need to have a have a bit of a rest me old me old joints are getting a bit where's okay so there's my thing right so if i put my y3 f3 up so i am now facing east so that's facing north so if i go in that direction eventually we should find our way to this treasure map right right well let's just keep swimming oh someone's chucking tridents at me who's chucking tridents at me 
It's you, are you? Right. No, that's not on. You can't do that. That's not something we do. That's not a friendly thing. So I'm going to have to hit you with my sword a lot. Try, go, drop your trident. Drop your trident. Drop your trident. Did you drop your trident? No, you didn't drop your trident. Oh, I didn't even get a trident out of him. That's a bit rubbish. If he drop, drop. Right, okay. Note two, nasty people. If you're going to have a fight with me with a trident, I need you to drop your trident. No, we're going the wrong way. Now, look. Is that the right way? No, we're going the right way. If we go that way, it would seem. So we're going north, but we need to go that way too. No, we don't want to go that way. We're going to go that way, right? This is all a bit awkward, isn't it? Right, I've got to keep going. We are getting close, people. This isn't going to be the one that I dug up the other day, is it? This isn't going to be the same one. Please don't be the one that I made a complete mess of. No way. Is it? It's the same one. How can I be going to a treasure map that's the same treasure map? Oh, what? Hang on. Right, so let's get... Let's put that onto there. I've emptied that one out almost completely already. So if I then... I'm really disappointed now. That's rubbish. Let's get rid of you. Does that mean that you there will no longer you'll be on a treasure map? Oh, that's that's actually one of the biggest disappointments of my entire life. Over and above constantly losing in build battle on a Sunday. Right, so I'm going to get rid of you because you're actually not my friend anymore. Um, let's just get rid of you like that. That was a bit rubbish, that was. So we are going to go. I don't know, so that's the one that we found already. So there, is that the underwater monument that I didn't go to? I think it is, isn't it? Right, so let's get myself some... Oh no, it's the water bottle. <laughs> right, so I need to swap that out. There we go. Oh look, this is quite cool, isn't it? Right, so what we got here? We've got some gargling going on. Who's, who wants to have a pop? I'll tell you what I do see down there. I see some interesting stuff. Right, let's just get some breath. And I can go down again. Right, so we're going back down. And we can get our silk touch pickaxe out. All right, so that was you. Come on then, let's have a let's have a fight. Let's have a fight. Have you got your mate's trident? Have you got your mate's trident? That's a no. But I have got. I'm about to die through lack of breath. There we go. Right, so come down, come down, man, for goodness' sake. Right, so where's my silk touch pickaxe? It is there. So what I want to do, because I saw something around here that I want. There we go. I've got my first official sea lantern. What have we got in here? We've got more coal. Did I just get hit by the magma block? Oh no, I ran out of air again. I forgot. Come up. Come up, man. Get yourself some breathing going. You can't breathe underwater. You foolish individual. Right, so come on. Where are you going to now? What are you going to do? You're going to come back down here? You're going to keep going? I can hear more gurgling. Where else can I take this? I think what I probably need to do is eat. There we go. So get your hearts back, buddy. And then we're going to go down here again. I think we're going to... Right, so down, 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 down. Let's take this thing apart. Look, it's, it, it offends me because it's got polished granite in it. So let's get rid of this. Is there anything else inside? No, there is not. So let's come out before I get stuck. So that's no good for us. Where's the next one? Let's take another breath. Get our bubbles back and down we go. 
We go in in here. We got anything else we can take? Some quite nice building blocks. Grab these. Get all of these. Up to the top. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fella. Come on, fella. You can do it. Right, so I want to get rid. I don't need my water bottle anymore. Right, okay. So I can take some of these. They take a long time to float up. A lot longer than I do. The other things float up. Do different blocks take longer to float to the surface than other blocks? Is that how it works? That's If that is the case, that's actually quite clever. And I'm quite impressed because that makes sense. Come on, let's get that one as well, and get that one, and then that one, and that can have him. And I've got two sea lanterns. It's as if I've raided an, uh, a sea temple, and I've not actually been anywhere near a sea temple. I can cheat and everything. Right, where's my other water bowl? There's my other water bowl. Let's get rid of that. I think I've got everything. No, I can't have that one as well. What do I want to get rid of? Rotten flesh. There we go. So now I can just get some more of these blocks. You can actually spend an eternity under this water, couldn't you? Just literally digging and digging. It's quite cool. But I want to go for a bit of a a bit of a further afield explore. And the danger is if I don't get myself sorted now and start wandering around now, I'm going to end up, well, I'm going to end up, goodness only knows what I'm going to be doing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this stuff off Back at the ranch. Have I got anything I can get rid of there? Let's get rid of that. And then get rid of some kelp. And I'll collect up the kelp. Whilst I'm at the top. Because you can never have too much kelp. And then. Oh, come on. Right, collect it all up. I'm nearly there. See, this is what I'm talking about. When, when you collect stuff. Did I collect all of it? When you collect stuff, uh, get rid of that sand. The sand's easy to get rid of. Get more, get more. Um, when, when you collect stuff and it just floats to the top of the sea, this is a pain. This is a pain in the bottom, having to float around and get stuff like this. However, if we are talking about getting stuff um, in like some kind of farm, then maybe it's an awful lot easier. I don't know. But almost fell over my own squid. But almost it's i don't know if i like it i know you're all saying oh you'll find it amazing it's brilliant you'll love having be able to stuff having floating and all that floating malarkey but actually i'm not sure i quite like it yet i think i'm a little bit i'm a little bit kind of jury out maybe let's just say my jury is out with the floating goods i, I appreciate it'd be really useful for some farms but for other stuff it's just not there for me i don't reckon so let's drop this stuff off and once I've dropped it off, we're going to go a little bit further afield. Right, so I've managed to drop off all my stuff and we've got a relatively empty inventory. I've got two potions of night vision and way too many tools, frankly. But that's all right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, have, I'm going to eat some chicken. I'm going to eat some chicken because, you know, I swiped it. I might as well have it. We're going to go off of the high board here like that. And uh, I thought it'd be quite... What's that over there? You know what? I've, I know what we're going to do. We're going to go... We're going to go and do something. I've just had a, I've just had a thought. We're going to go. This, this is called bad planning, Avo. Bad planning, failing to plan, is planning to fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and get... What am I going that way for? I'm going to come and get some iron because... I want, don't try and shoot at me. I'm running past you. You're lucky. You're lucky I'm not in an aggressive mood holding my very offensive chicken. I'm going to come and get some iron. Right, where's my iron? I can't remember where my iron is. It's around here somewhere. Where's the iron? Oh, iron. Where did I put you, iron? Can I not see it for knocking? It's that one. Why has it not got a thing on the doodah? Right, so I've got to put a thing back on the doodah first. There we go, that's better. So what I'm now going to do 
He's like, well, have I got a crafting table? Yes, of course I have. I'm going to make myself some buckets. And I reckon it will be fun. Five, six, seven. Right, so let's just put one more and one more. I reckon it'd be fun to get eight buckets. This is probably a bad idea, isn't it? I'm just going to put these straight back in. And we're going to go fishing. We're going to go fish fishing. And what that's going to mean is I will be able to make myself a fish tank, which I'm very excited about, actually. I wanted to do it, and I forgot that I wanted to do it because I'm a bit forgetful like that. I'm going to run past all the nasties again because they want to eat my face, but I don't want to fight them because I'm in too good a mood now because I'm going to go I'm going to go fishing. It's going to be great. So we're going to get ourselves... Potion of night vision, we're going to get ready for it. I'm going to put my buckets in my hand. So whilst we're running off of this high diving board, because it's exactly what it looks like, and it's high diving board, I'm going to drink this, and we're going to get ourselves down. Way There we go. So we've got a bucket of... There we go, I'll fill it up with water, why not? So we're going to go fishing with my bucket. There we go, so we've got to find a fish first. Oh hang on, so you got to do I just realised you got to do um Oh don't drop your buckets, you just made them. You've got to do it with a water bucket, filled water bucket, don't you? Right, so I got I got poisoned, but I did get a puff of fish in my hand. There we go, so we're going to shove another one of those there, stick that, and then fill that up with water, and then we're, we're going to get some more fish. We're going to get some more breath first, and then we're going to get some more fish. There we go, let's get some chicken. Have you ever tried to eat underwater? It's not very realistic, is it, eating underwater? I'm not sure you can actually do it very well. So we're going to come by this fish, and we're going to get a fish. There we go, so now we've got a bucket of cod. I do want some tropical fish though, so let's get ourselves one of those. No, don't drop, don't throw the buckets away, man. Right, so let's fill that up with water. Get yourself, oh man, there we go. Like that, so now we've got a full bucket of water. Chase the fish. Now we've got a bucket of tropical fish. Get that one as well. Don't tell me I'm hurting. Right, so then we're going to come this way and find more tropical fish. There. Get another bucket of tropical fish. Yay. And then we're going to come this way. What I'm interested in, will it remember what fish it was was in the bucket of tropical fish? Is that a reasonable question? Where am I, by the way? There I am, I'm over here. So we're now going to go into the den of several drowns. Because we're getting further away from the land, these drowns are going to become more numerous. They like to attack in gangs. So, I'm going to fight them multiple drowns at a time in the hope that maybe, maybe, we get some really cool stuff. But, I, look, look, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, he's got a Nautilus shell. Will he, will he have the actual Nautilus shell is my question. Oh, fight, you soggy undead. I shall be victorious and take you to the watery grave that you're already in. Die a lot more. Here we go. Oi, don't creep up on me like that. That's not very nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Did I get anything worth having? Apart from out of breath. Right, so I've got a Nautilus shell. That's always good. Oi! Oi! That's a creep up. You're not allowed to do a creep up. That's bad. Can we get anything out of you there? No? Oh, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. All I wanted was... Look, where's... No. I, I just wanted... Oh, I just wanted a trident. Is it too much to ask for a trident? There we go. I'll have that bucket of tropical fish as well. Fill that up. Right, so come on. Come on. Let's get these things done. We know you want to. 
We come in this way. Where's the fish? There's another bucket of tropical fish. I've only got two buckets left, look. Let's come up, where's... Oh. There we go, we'll go this way. Oh, we got another interesting looking fishy. No, that's a squid. Where's a fish? Come on. Nice intro. Let's. Oh, it's our coral! Look, let's go that way. Let's go that way. I'll tell you what, you don't get many tridents for the for your money, do you? Not at all. Come on, get yourself swimming there, Marv, mate. Get yourself swimming. Look, function F5. And swim with a sword in your hand. Swim. It's. I just like the animation, frankly. I think it's cool. There we go. So let's come down that way. We'll go a little bit more. This is me from behind. It's probably not something you'd want to wish on anybody. Look, coral. I found some coral. That's cool. I'm happy with that. That's cool. So what we got here as well, actually. What's that? Is that half a boat? That's a properly deep thing. I'm a little bit nervous of it. What's that in there? Right, I've got, I've got to turn myself around now, look. Because I can't see what I'm doing. What we got? More emeralds! Yeah, well, we're doing really well on the emerald front, aren't we? Let's get all of these bits in here. I could have just... Oh, that was a really silly way of doing it, wasn't it? Right, so let's get myself out, up and out. You know what my driving's like. There we go. So we get up and out. I'm a little bit nervous of that chasm there, though. Look at that. That's huge. Right, so let's get ourselves some... I quite fancy getting some coral blocks. You can mine these, right? Sea pickles! Now, sea pickles are going to become very, very, very useful. Right, so when you cut the coral off, does it become dead coral? It does. Right, so it doesn't stay this lovely colour. So how do you get coral, or can you not? Can you not just get, can you not move coral and replant it? Does it not work that way? That's a bit of a shame, because what I really would like is a little sea pickle farm. If I could have to get a sea pickle farm, that would be quite useful. There we go, let's collect all of those. How many sea pickles are we getting? There's eight sea pickles there. Get some more. See this coral, it's actually quite interesting in its shape. I like it. But I really wanted to have coral nearer the nearer the peninsula, but I guess you can't plant it. Can you not plant it? What about that? Can you plant that? No, that don't work either. It just dies instantly, doesn't it? That's not what you want. Right, so people, how do you get coral closer to your house? Can you not? In the comments, please, I need you to tell me how do you get coral closer to your house? It's a very important question the world wants to know. Right, so what have I got in here so far? So I've got lots of treasure. I've got a nautilus shell. I've got 14 sea pickles, emeralds, a load of fishies. Oh, speaking of which, I need... I got distracted again, didn't I? Right, I need some more fish. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? Come here, fishy. Some more floating sea pickles that I forgot to pick up. Do you not get different fish around the coral reef? You should get different fish around the coral reef, surely. That would be better. Right, so let's I keep throwing the bucket away. I'm gonna re I'm gonna reallocate my button for my lob your bucket away button. Right, so let's get this fella here. That's another tropical fish, which leaves us just one tropical fish to go. Should we get one of these? Yeah, let's have you. Right, so that gives us quite a few tropical fish. Just get them out of the way. And a few pickles, which is always good, that we can light up under the water with. Have that one. And that one. So I think that's probably enough of those bits now really in it because I'm going to be 
If I can't collect the coral, there's literally no point in me trying to collect any more of it, is there? That's a bit of a shame. But I didn't know that there was a coral reef so close. That's brilliant. I'm really happy with that. Right, so now I want something that's going to be exciting to find under the water. So let's have a bit more of a swim. Now, these coral reefs are massive. They're just enormous. Is it like an entire biome of coral reefage? It's absolutely superb. Now, I've decided what I want to do is I want to swim down into one of these. So I'm just going to swim down into it because it's proper deep and it's very exciting. And I'm hoping I don't get lost. What's that burning noise? Get a breath. Come back down again. These are so cool. I'm such a child. This is the sort of thing that just excites me. I'm such a child. Let's come in and a little bit of breath. Some skelly bobs over there. How can they hit me? I'm in the water. For goodness sake. They're coming in. Look, they're coming in. They're coming in. They can't shoot me because they're in the water. So let's get back up again because I'm going to run out of breath again. What was that noise? What was that noise? I don't know. But is this another under do undersea doodah? Let's get. Stop pushing your ink out at me, for goodness sake. Yes, there is a chest there. Small disaster there. My computer ran out of power because, like a foolish man, I forgot to plug it in. And as a result, it ran out. So what I'm doing now is I am... Um, can I... I can't even do it. Look, I'll have that. There's another buried treasure map. I'll, I'll swap here. I'll swap out some of this stuff. What do you reckon? Let's get rid of you. I'll have you instead. There, get that, get that, get that. Might as well have that whilst I'm there. Right, so we've got another buried treasure map. So do I trust this one? Is the question I have on my lips. Do I trust this buried treasure map? Now, I am facing entirely the wrong direction there we go I'm facing north now which is back that way but what I wanted to do was go over there so I'm actually am I f I'm relatively full though aren't I? so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way in the full knowledge that actually that treasure map isn't a lot of good no no don't chuck the treasure map away that was a bit silly go this way man get the treasure map back But come over here, because what's over here, look? You want to have a look over here, don't you? Let's have a look. Come on, get yourself down. You're swimming super fast, because you're super fast fishy. Get in the sea pickles, because they're fun. Where'd it go? There it is. Right, we're going to come down here and have a look what it does. <laughs> Oh, I almost got done then. almost got done by a load of magma blocks. That wouldn't have been good. I'd have been sucked right down in there. And that was really deep. So what we've got here? We've got another boat. So let's come down onto the boat. Let's get rid of this fella. There is another chest there that's got lots more stuff. Get that. So power, and we're coming this way, and we're coming down. What we got in there? We don't want potatoes. We can get the coal. We'll have the coal because that's not too bad to have. Take a breath at the door, and we get another buried treasure map. That's probably the same buried treasure map as the other one, isn't it? So let's just get ourselves out of here. Hmm. So, which should we just get? Let's just get ourselves over to this land for a moment. Because I wasn't expecting to find a swamp. Get myself on it. Oh, there's a skelly bob. Yeah, I see him. I see him sorted. Right, so. I've actually I've never been here before. 
always a little nervous of places I've not been before, but that's all right. So we're going to look at this treasure map. That's, is that the same treasure map as the other one? Yeah, so actually they're the same treasure map. I feel conned. I feel conned completely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go this way and um, I'm going to have a bit of a travel and I shall see you when I get a little bit closer to this treasure. Now you are not going to believe what's just happened. I just recorded about 25 minutes of footage of me romping around that uh, village over there, me destroying utterly this area here and taking another heart of the sea, some gold, some iron, some TNT, another diamond, some more emeralds, literally going mad, shooting creepers and killing skellies and all sorts of lots of fun types of stuff. And what do I find? The recording didn't work. What a disaster. It's, I, I'm genuinely gutted. It was really fun footage. But what we have managed to do is, let's get myself over here. Hang on a second. We found it's relatively close by. We found some turtles. Hello, turtles. How are you? Um, so we got some turtles. I've not got any seagrass. I wonder if I could get some seagrass. Um, I've not got any shears, though. Uh, I'll come and do that another day. I'm not worried about that. But we've got quite a lot of stuff now. We're doing all right. And I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to base. Now I've actually recorded the fact that I've been here, because you wouldn't have believed me. And uh, we'll see where we go there. So we are back on the Chicken Peninsula, which is what I probably will call it from now on because of its poultry based population. And I'm coming into the item sorter. You'll notice I've stuck a roof on it. That creeper that fell on my head in the last episode scared me so much I felt the need to stick a roof on here. So I have. I'm just going to put some of this stuff into here. Now I appreciate not all of it's going to be able to go, but we can shove the diamond, the emeralds. That can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. I think that can go. I think. Uh, not positive. Um, I think that is all that can go into the item sorter. We can come out this way. And I'm going to go and dump the other stuff as well. Because we've now got two hearts of the sea. Oh, eat some chicken. We've now got two hearts of the sea. Which means that if I get enough nautilus shells, and I can get fishing and do that and whatnot. If I get enough nautilus shells, what I can then do is I can set up a couple of conduits. And once we've got the conduit, they said, I can't, oh, I was going to say I can set up a couple of conduits. I can't, I need to go and find a, um, oh, I've got to go and get a load of prismarine, and I? If I'm going to set up conduits, that's not going to work. Let's just shove this stuff in here. Right, let's get that there, 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 there. There we go, shove that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, and that there, and that there. There we go. Right. Um, yeah, I've got any prismarine. I'm going to have to go and find myself. I've got to go and get myself a temple, and I? That's the only way forward. Anyway, one more really important thing to do in this episode. So I've come to the mate's base, and I've got about five, I think, several. Anyway, I've got several of these horrible things coming at me. Look. Get ya. They're properly having a go, and I'm a bit scared. Because they, they can come in under this carton to cover place, which is not good. And I can't see when they're attacking. Look, they're trying to have a go. Come and have a pop. Come on, come and have a pop. I'd love to kill you. I'm really keen on killing you. A lot. But they're, they're proper noisy as well, aren't they? Blimey. I've got you. I've got your arrow in the bottom. Do they disappear? Oh, but they do burn. In the daytime, of course they do. Yes, I knew that. They burn in the daytime. So that's in my favour. Where are the rest of you? Come on. Where are the rest of you? Now I'm less afraid of you because you're going to burn. Is that all of you? Oh, no. I want to have a bit more of a killing session of you then. That was a bit of a shame. I got all... There's no left. You literally, you all burn up. To flames. Right, well, I better get wriggle on. Otherwise, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up coming out when it is night time, and that will not do at all. Right, so today, mate space time again. We are going to have another mate in a mate space. This is my favourite place in the whole of the peninsula, as you know. So we're going down to the under level. Just check, nothing there. And who have we had 
in recent weeks. We've got Cupcake Kitty there. Look, we've got Woodpeckers there. I don't know if I like this um, carriage return, but there it is. Never mind. A Bunny Bond is on now. We've got Robin. We've got episode 41 was Robert, which leaves us with this section for episode 42. Episode 42. And today we are going to write their name in not the way that it sounds. They couldn't have their full name, their proper gaming name, because for whatever reason it didn't work. So they've had to call themselves Tenshi, like that. But it's Tenshi, welcome to the Mate Space. I'm pretty sure I've not really put you on, that would be embarrassing. But Tenshi, welcome to the Mate Space. It is a delight to have you. Episode 42. We've almost run out of spots in here, and we're going to have to do another one soon. And it's great to have you. Anyway, let's get back to the peninsula. I just, I'm a little bit nervous. No, it's still daytime. It's all good. It's all good. It's still daytime. We're, we're not going to get eaten by flying stuffs. Ah, look, 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 look. Can you see on the roof there is a something? Have I got anything in this chest? I must have, mustn't I? There we go. No! No, don't say that. Oh, I'm going to have to get some, i just got to get some dirt. Right, so that'll do. So I need to get some dirt so as I can get up on the top of here. Oh, did I have Silk Touch on that? I must have had Silk Touch on that. So if I jump, one, two, three, four, five, six, jump across, and I can have that, and then I can just get rid of that. I didn't think I had Silk, have I got Silk Touch on that? I've got Silk Touch on that, that's brilliant. Right, so anyway, so I've now got a phantom membrane. If only, if only, I had some elytra that I could fix with it. Let's get ourselves back to the peninsula. And we're back on the peninsula, the chicken peninsula, the poultry peninsula. And frankly, I wonder if I do that, will it? No, it won't let me. I thought maybe, just maybe, I could have hit the chicken. But never mind, I have got a big hole behind me. I reckon in a very close future episode, I'm going to need to do something with that because I want a proper house. I don't want one of Mickey Mouse houses that I've got there that's basically a block. I want a really decent house, better than the one in the background there, although the one in the background would suffice for now. Stop backing up on some... I'll tell you what, that's it. I'm done with this chicken. There you go. That'll learn you. Don't mess with me. I've got a big glowy sword. What are you, mad? Got to be off your head. Come on then. Right, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, I was totally distracted there. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.